going on guys? Crypto Ski from CCG and today I'm going to talk about public key encryption and its use case in Bitcoin. So public key encryption is a way to safely transmit value or messages um, over internet. You don't have to fear uh, someone coming in and interfering or manipulating that message that you're trying to send with uh, this encryption protocol. It's commonly used uh, it's used whenever you're searching the web with HTTPS. When you send an email, that's encrypted using public key encryption with PGP. And uh, finally, it's, it's used in Bitcoin. And a simple way of how it works is uh, when you generate a wallet, you're actually generating a set of keys that are related to each other but asymmetric. Asymmetric means that you can't derive one key using that other key. They're connected, but there's no way that you can find the connection between both of them. Uh, those keys are called, uh, a, one, a public key, and two, a private key. And a simple example for that would be your public key is kind of like an email address. If you want somebody to send you a message, uh, you give them your email address. It's something that is safe to give out, and it's actually the only way that you can receive a message is by them sending it to this public key. Your private key is like a password. So once this person sends the message and it's encrypted, the only way that message can be um, unencrypted and used in Bitcoin's case is if you have the private key. Uh, there's also something else called the digital signature. And digital signatures are a way to prove ownership of uh, value or of a wallet without revealing that private key. Because, like I said, it's like a password. If you reveal that password, then someone else will have... Um, access to your wallet. So a digital signature is created using your private key uh, through encryption and it's simply something you can sign off that people can use the digital signature, check it with your public key and prove that you do have at least ownership of that private key without revealing it. Uh, one example, the real life example I'll show you is uh, what if Alice wanted to send five dollars to Bob using the Bitcoin uh, network. So Alice would create a message uh, claiming that she wants to send $5 worth of Bitcoin to Bob and she would sign it with her digital signature proving that she has access to those funds, that those funds are under her control. She will send that message to Bob's public key. When that message is sent to Bob, he can decrypt that message with the private key and that value now becomes his and he has the opportunity to now spend or move those bitcoins on the network uh, using his digital signature moving forward. This uh, public key encryption can go as deep as you want it to go, it gets fairly technical, but um, at a base level it's a simple way for you to safely send value to somebody else without um, a bad actor in the middle um, manipulating that message. Um, please stay tuned guys for more videos. Like I always say, if you want us to do a specific video you think would help uh, clarify some of the you know, Bitcoin terms or things that happen that you hear a lot in the community that you don't know about, please reach out to us at gowithccg.com and we'd be happy to make a video for you all. Thank you so much.